Tangent. A few members of Uter Killers who have somehow slipped their way in through this, through the chaos, through the bedlam, they have been able to survive. And now we'll see if they're going to take the ire of B4, who've also got uneven on the flank once again to deal with the 3-1 like we are talking about. And we'll see who's going to be able to draw first blood. Or nades. How many nades does Cloud9 have? Seriously, I'm sure they picked seriously. up a bunch off of uh, Queso and then off of Loops, but they're just, they're, they are... They're getting their arms a workout. I can't imagine how it's going to feel afterwards. I hope they stretch, but the circle is going to be far, far away from them. They're basically going to have to pick one side to push, and I think the push is the West. Yeah, going into Uter Killers here, I think just given how destructive B4 has been here, I think that might have to be the play. I'm not sure. Oh, but wait a second. Uter Killers might do this job for them. They're actually rotating into B4. And this is a 4v3v3 situation. So if Cal Cloud9 can actually capitalize on these two teams fighting against each other, that could be their moment here. The third party, even this late in the game, is still going to be super impactful. Mixera has the nade out, snaking their way in, trying to find the angle here on Sandro and crew. Cloud9, though, they're not snaking at all. They have the high ground, they have the hill, and that's one of the, the also a reason why they took this angle to take. But if they don't aren't aware of B4's push, they might be running into the midst of chaos instead of just staying, staying safe and lying in wait. But the de the knocks starting to come in from both sides. Yeah, and this is just Uter just getting pinched on both sides. There is not a whole lot they can do about this. Trying to hide behind the vehicles as best as they can, but the nades are coming in. This time it's Adder. That's not a snake in the grass. It is rare enough to bite you. Explosions left and right. And we'll see who can survive through this orbital bombardment, or at least that's what it feels like. His nades are just raining from the sky. Adder is coming in here on the flanks. Two members of B4 already getting chunked down. It's Mixed Air, the last man standing for this, and this might actually be B4. The amazing run cut short. This might be the end of it here. If Uter can find the angles, but no, Cloud9 is just continuing to put the pressure up on both sides. It is uneven, absolutely going off. And there we go. Uter Killers is eliminated. And the last man standing. This situation looks familiar. The 4v1. And that's Cloud9. A lot of damage. Kajowski, though, is going to go down. Rain able to find the shot. But the angle is here from Football. It's just trying to be the third party. The thorn of the side at this point. As the action is continuing to heat up. Every single team needs to bandage their wounds. Take a second to reset. But also at the same time, one bullet. One headshot here could change this entire final circle. It is getting so close, and Rain is continuing the pressure onto loops. This time, it is the fire, and they've got to try and survive. That's the problem with a compound this big this late in the game. Loops might have tried to hold the entire thing with just four players, and they might be getting punished for it. Knocks against them, but enemies have been knocked as well. But Tempo Storm are pushing, pushing the building. Everyone Tensa. on the bottom floor. They're going in. Tensa trying to find the shots as best he can. One of the best fraggers in North America now. As the rest of his team is falling around him. The last hope, the last stance, the last chance, the last dream. He gets the down on Nadine. Can he keep this going? He hears the shots behind him. He knows he is surrounded, but he's got to try and do the best he can. It is him up against the world right now. His footballists are looking to try and breach. Rain is actually here right in the corner. I don't even know if they know he's there. Footballist is trying to get involved, and that is Tensa finally going down, but Loops taking all of these fights are in a terrible spot right now as Uter Killers, everyone else, Wildcard is trying to push in. They were so focused on each other. Tempo and Loops, everybody is taking advantage. Loops hold for now, but for how long? Tempo are out. But look, it's it's the, the rival gangs, as you mentioned, each taking a different corner of the triangle, and dead center is the tasty snacks of Federal and Karaoski. What can they do to hold? Because there's no way Carlos is getting picked up. They have to hope that wild card footballists, they all take care of each other. Oh, they do indeed. And oh man, you just see wild card. They survived with two for so long, not quite able to get themselves into position there, but it's actually footballists who have been able to take advantage of the chaos. They've taken fewer fights than everyone else, which means they've also taken fewer, taken the fewest damage in spring. Oh my goodness. He's not gonna stick his neck out on that one. He's gotta try and keep himself as tucked in as possible. Oh my goodness, that angle is so close. Carrillo is going to burn out there. Bleed out, I should say. There have been a lot of Molotovs in this game. In any case, somebody else is going to get that point. As footballists, I think, are maybe going to try and make Whoa. the play. There's the Molotov I was talking about. Just barely able to find an angle that avoids it, allowing them to heal. But it still just shows them, it reminds them that footballists have their number because they're stuck in a corner in the exact same way that Wildcard are. This is looking like a loops footballist final two. That is, if Federal can hold off, and it seems he can't. 
Oh my goodness, they've got to try and push that way up. Loops controlling the top floor. It's all Kayowski now. Azuda Killers is pushing in towards the bottom. They're the distraction, actually. This might give an opportunity for them to hold off as the circle is just continuing to close. Kayowski oh, actually stuff up onto the roof. This is huge. Can he find the shots on his soul? Okay, yes, he does. He's got to try and survive as long as possible. He's got to stay in the circle, but the shots oh. are there, but it's spring. What? what? Wild card on the flank. Did they actually get that win? I can't believe it. No, it was footballists. Footballists who survived through all of it at the end. As they're continuing look to look into B4, who we have not seen since the very start of this game, where they were first blood on Miramar. And now Pedro and crew are trying to rally in this little bit of a divot they've actually found for themselves here. Lutz is going for a big open push. Oh my goodness, this is bold, Cameron. Can they make this happen? The smokes are there to assist, but he knows he has the knock. He knows that at least one other member of B4 stuck on the revive. Does he know of the B4 player close? Ooh. He sends the shots, the grenade comes out. Oh, might have missed his opportunity. Yeah, that might have been it because he's taking a lot of damage from these grenades as DE and Umbra are also fighting on the other side of the circle. But footballists with these smokes are just pushing their way in slowly, but surely Lutz is taking a little bit of damage back and forth. So is Realm on the back. And now Soul K and crew, they have to think, do we back up and try and reset this or do we just push forward? And the answer is forward, training out one on one now. It's a 2v1 situation, this page is gonna go in and try and confirm the kills, can he get the shots? He does, they're closer to Soul K, he sees Lutz in the back. This is a 2v1 situation, Lutz who can always go clutch for the team, is gonna need to do it again Good right volley. here, but it's hard to do when you're on fire, not that kind of fire! And B4 shuts him down, five kills to their name, footballists who are making a claim to Miramar like they did to Vikendi, shut down at the end, making this all about Dream Eaters and B4. For the two teams we haven't talked about a whole lot coming into this but five kills and seven respectively they've been getting involved not as involved as football is but they're involved in the final circle and that's for the, all the placement points that crate i don't know if it's going to be terribly useful i honestly don't see either team no. <laughs> really stretching that far towards the north to get it but who knows maybe maybe b4 want that angle but the cover that dream eaters has except except for matic who's going super aggressive does he know that he's running directly into a member of b4 that's the question he's gonna find out real quick oh my goodness matic catching him as he's cooking a grenade that was actually huge pedro was able to do a lot of damage on the other side of that as the rest of the team is gonna push him but ever said no do not count out pedro oh my goodness that m4 spray was solid and now dream eaters Looking like they're going to try and continue to confirm the shots. No, oh, they do get down Pedro. Matic with the shots. The team fire is there. And now this is just, I think, a 1v3 situation. Oh, my goodness. Tree meters are looking solid. It's Levi now, the last man standing for B4. Can Dream meters look to come in here and pick themselves up their first win, their first chicken dinner, and there it is. Oh, my goodness. Dream Eaters with the chicken dinner. Uh, turn their attention towards you and Maddie! your powers, Rob. <laughs> Maddie, you don't even care. 12 kills, man, 12 you kills. Say you want to throw nades at me? You want to throw nades at me? I got one right here for you as, man, Dream Eaters, they are just crushing it right now. Great position, too. Great position. They're going to be right here on the edge in the north. Not a lot of cover moving forward in front of them. They have a couple trees, and you got Yala down here in the south just running and gunning, trying to make it into the zone themselves. And... Pyra, the lone survivor for Cloud9. Here's all these footsteps currently around him. Maxon from B4 attempting to toss out some grenades. Might even spot out a member or two from Dream Eaters. Gonna take a couple shots and then quickly pop back down. Close one, close one. Oh, but man, look where this blue zone goes right here. The worst possible scenario for B4 in this situation and a huge advantage for Dream Eater. This is all Dream Eater's game right here. They have been just crushing this one from start to finish. But hey, I mean, it's, it's not finished That's yet. A, I mean, it's, it's not, not finished, finished yet, yet but, but it's looking like it. It's looking like it. Yeah, I, I right. get what you're saying. I mean, Dream Eaters, they got a little 2-2 two -two split. They got two behind that, that rock right there, that big giant mountain. And then they got two out there in the fields. And it looks like they're going to be using some smokes to kind of group on up. Pyra actually going to be moving out out of the blue. Only 11 bandages and Pedro spotting out Pyra. Now there's just two teams left. Max is going to be providing that oh, cover no. fire right now to allow Pedro to get on into the new zone. And just like that, 
Yep, Dream Eaters. I mean, nobody, nobody could stop them. The smoke gonna be blocking them for the time being. Third party coming on out from Team Queso. That might be a blessing in disguise for footballists. No, it's not because they are also gonna be third party and Slicky on the outskirts of this, trying to put a halt to the push right now from footballists. Lutz is just bleeding so low needs to get right behind that tree right behind that burning vehicle to get that heal off that much needed heal yeah and it looks like he is gonna get it right now in wild card they're kind of stuck out okay there goes Slicky throwing out some smokes oh it looks like they were able to push up to sam right now uh Sa sam was able to push up to spring as the rest of this footballist has just been stuck healing Oh uh, man, that actually oh, opened the oh, door. Oh, underhanding grenade not able to get there because Sam's going to be connecting onto Lutz first. And Lutz's grenade just going to be dropped to the floor. And Team Queso, they're still up here. They are still up here on the high ground overlooking all the squads. Fight it out. They have a couple vehicles to work with. Yeah, we're missing a tire. But you can still pull that bad boy up and use it for cover. There goes Dream Eaters out. Tempo as well right now. Cloud9, the zone shifts over onto them zone nine they are sitting pretty on this one there's oh the only thing though is they ha they are at the bottom of this hill so they're gonna have both wild card and team Keisho push up at them on the same time oh if, i don't know if you really noticed it right there but you saw uneven i believe he threw a smoke up onto them so that is an offensive smoke really really smart because that's going to stop team queso from being able to push out or get any idea where the rest of this cloud nine team is that one smoke can make all the difference in the world for his team oh right, that bail m249 m249 oh, the squad wiper. we'll see we'll see the squad wiper they need it they need it right now ayala gonna be hitting the dirt taking off that backpack already Axel right behind him. Mystic still going to be in the back line overlooking this. Cloud9, though, looking to make the uphill push onto Team Queso. Bayo's going to be tossing a grenade. That could be good onto Mystic. No, going to be blowing up right in front of that vehicle. That vehicle able to save Mystic for the time being. Perfect nades coming out from Cloud9 right now, considering the time that's on the clock. They're using the blue zone to their advantage. They know that Team Queso has to push right now, so they're doing everything they can to keep them away, keep them laying down so they cannot push up for free. And, uh, oh, it looks like wild cards. Ooh. Good. This is good for Cloud9. This is good for Cloud9. Wildcard will be connecting on to one of the members from Team K. So uneven with that lean peak, trying to get some shots in of their own. Ayala is going to be spotted. Team K. So knocked down and out. It's going to be a 3v2 right now. Bale with the squad wiper right now. Going to be just spraying a couple of those fives out there into the smokes. And now here comes the grenades. Getting tossed right on top of the smokes. This could be it for them. That one right past them. Right past them, but it will be inflicting just a little bit of what damage on happening? the spring. So close, so close right now. If oh, it, okay. Oh, some more, some, some more. Yep, some more damage. That was good. Man, it's it's last game of the Super Weekend right here. It's North America versus North America. Cloud9, Wildcard. Wildcard is pinned down in a really tough position right here. I'm surprised Cloud9 is letting him breathe yeah. at all. That is just that's just Cloud9 playing this one safe. They really want this chicken dinner, but man, if they play it too safe, it could go the other way around. Sam is bleeding on out, but crawling, trying to get some oh. information and relay that back to the squad. And play zone. Ooh, spring. Yeah, going to be pushing on out. The play zone will be chunking them down and out. Now it's a 3v1. Slinky going to be connecting up to uneven. For my favorite part of the show to see what the breakdown is going to be, which team is currently in the lead in our first day of the Super Weekend. Let's get the overall rankings on the screen for you guys at home. And Dream Eaters are going to maintain that number wow. one spot. Cloud9 getting close though. Remember, Cloud9 uh, being able to get the two chicken dinners in one day, that is going to be huge for them. And at one point, with the end up seeing B4 in the first place, well, guess what? They're going to have to work a little bit harder to get those chicken dinners in, but they want to get and end up being up there in the first place. Another team that we definitely need to mention, Wildcard, having that great match there, going fifth place into the next couple of days, that is going to be huge for them. Hopefully, that, that's one team that we see more out of. I feel like they definitely have the potential. We have seen them win a lot of games before, just from PMPL Americas. And here so far as well in the in the sitting weekend and i, I think they got what it takes and awful legends awful legends i mentioned this over and over again 
to me, they are becoming that gatekeeper team, which uh, they're pretty much going to be in 10th place or a, a 10th to 7th place all the time. So hopefully they are able to adjust their strategy so they can go ahead and get past that uh, because you don't want to get stuck there. And now we're jumping onto the second page here. And I think that, you know, we've said it a couple times, one of the biggest surprises here is definitely Konina Power, but I am surprised to also see Unique down here. I'm surprised to see PK down here. You know, we had seen a little bit more out of them when it comes to the league play for this week so far. So hopefully these teams are able to kind of adjust after today and really come in strong into day two of our Super Weekend. And not only that, I want to see Pittsburgh and I step it up. I also want to see Nova Esports step it up. Kanina Power, that's one that we mentioned over over again. We kind of sound like a broken record because we said it so many times. They tend to have bad days at the start. Can tomorrow, can they switch it up and can they have that dominance performance that we saw during seeding weekend or even in league play? What about Uder Killers? This is a team we saw get top four in the first two matches today, and they slowly let themselves slip over the course of today. Again, we talk about consistency. Maybe they didn't get the most frags, but this team has been struggling where we saw them previously. Well, to be fair, struggle in the league play, able to you know get through at the bottom of the table into our 16 teams to play in. But I was hoping for a little bit more out of them after the first two matches, Glitter.